Hi, I'm Brian Welk with The Wrap. Uh, I'm here today with who I think is one of the nicest guys in comedy, but also certainly one of the tallest. Uh, yeah. His new stand-up special is called The Great Depression, and it airs on HBO on October 5th. Yes. Gary Goldman, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm very thankful that you watched the special because some interviewers are not familiar. So, that, <laughs> so that's, a, that's a big help. Well, yes. after having watched it, uh, yes. how are you? How, are I'm, you all right? I'm terrific. Now, honestly, a lot of people say never better, but they're lying and they've never been worse. But I have never been better. I can say that, I can say that because maybe I was so bad for so long that it's easy to be never better, but I am never better. Yeah, so for people who aren't familiar, you know, we'll tell you about the, you were really dealing with depression and this whole yes. special is about how you kind of came yes. to terms with that. Yes. Tell us how it kind of came about and how you also became comfortable actually talking about this on stage. Right, I, I think most people will, will tell you that their symptoms of depression started very young. They didn't have a name for it and mm. nobody really picked up on it because it's, it's really hard to, to diagnose somebody else. But I would say at six or seven, I had these, these feelings of worthlessness and sadness and, and loneliness. And they, they peaked in my late teens, adolescence and late teens, and sort of evened out. And I spent most of my life trying to deal with it and having, having some strong months and some tough months. And then in 2017, I, I fell into a spiral that I didn't emerge from for for two and a half years, and, and that's sort of what the, the Great Depression, Depression deals with, is my falling apart and then my recovery, and, and now I'm thriving, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very happy to tell people of the story, so some people will find out about it, and some people will feel less alone in, in dealing with it. Now, I mean, what I love about this, too, is that it's it's a serious subject, but it's, it's very you. It's very oh, thank you. lighthearted. It's thank very, you. You're like how did you strike that tone with this well, with this special? I I knew just from from trial and error that you had to give a, a fair amount of, of of sugar with the medicine. The Mary Poppins theory: a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. And so I I knew that I had to make it funny first and foremost and then get my my information across and and it's it's like your favorite teachers and professors they were able to be witty mm. and 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 sharp-minded and funny when when dealing with the information those were the ones that you remembered and those were the ones that the the information stuck so i i tried to ad adhere to that philosophy of 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 teaching do you feel that your comedy is hitting a new stride that you're finding a new New direction. Well, I, I'm, I've been working with this new thing called confidence, which I <laughs> which I never had, and and so that's very that's very helpful. So it, ke it keeps me from from spending too much time beating myself up and criticizing my work and and not taking chances. So that has been been helpful. But then you don't want to go too far. I notice that any comedian who believes all the great things people are saying about them, they they never reach that that level again. So it, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a balancing act. Bruce Springsteen says you need to think you're a badass and that you suck both at the same time to stay honest. So, so he's like one of our greatest Americans. So I'll, I'll, try, to, I'll try to stay with that. I mean, what do you hope people learn from, from your experience? I, I hope they realize the seriousness of depression and that it's, it's a life-threatening illness but also that there's, there's hope and there's so much treatment. And I, and I, I say this about, about two things that, that, that I am. I am vegan and I am mentally ill. And there's never been a better time in history to be either. It is so easy <laughs> to avoid eating chicken and fish at this point and beef in history because there are so many great options and also there are so many great options for treatment for, for the mentally ill. So I'm, I'm very grateful I, I live now instead of a time when they just thought mental illness was spirits, ghosts, and, and, and fairies. So I'm, I'm very lucky and, and also the, the Beyond Burger is a game changer. <laughs>